Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number four on the CBEST practice test part of the 2015 GoMath Teacher Workshop Series. It's a nice problem to review some core ideas in units and unit conversion. Um, and it's a really good one, not just if you're a teacher in California, but you could also be a teacher in Massachusetts or, or New York or California or throughout the United States uh, preparing for your teacher certification exam. Now this is a problem suited for the elementary school level, but uh, it's good because some of these core ideas are going to be the stepping stone for more secondary math problems in middle school and high school. And we'll do those later. But first, let's take a look at number four. I'm going to read it out loud. Which of the following is the most appropriate unit for expressing the weight of a pencil? And then we have our answers, pounds, ounces, quarts, pints, tons. And this is one of those questions where, you know, it's like, I kind of remember this. I, I remember that quarts and pints. That has to do with volume and liquids. Well, ounces kind of deal with volume and liquids too, but, but then also at the same time, ounces could be used for, you know, how many ounces in a pound type of thing. And that would be pounds and tons, and that's sort of weight. Hmm. So it's one of those things where that basic math that you've learned before uh, kind of gets a little blurred. So we are going to be talking about units, and, and we're going to be looking at units of um, units that could be used for weight. We'll also uh, think about units that can be used for distance and volume. And we're also going to be uh, doing a strategy. And, and one strategy is the common sense strategy, which is to take this idea of a pencil, right? I think that pencil is pretty small. And I'm thinking about what is the weight of the pencil. The weight of the pencil is pretty small. Now, I'm hoping that you could say quart, quarts and pints, I don't really remember how they're connected but I know they have to do with liquids. And maybe you'd be able to cross out C and D right away. Now, when you're left with these other ones, ounces, pounds, and tons, you might say, tons? I don't think I my pencil's a ton. Even though that has to do with weight, it's not going to be represented in tons. And now when we think about pounds and ounces, I don't think this pencil weighs a pound. So, and it's more appropriate that we use the uh, unit conversion uh, of uh, ounces. So the answer is actually B. That's sort of that common sense. And I start with this mental image of the pencil and work my way through the answers till I get to the one that makes the most sense. Now, let's take a closer look at these units. Ounces, we could be thinking about fluid ounces, and then it would work with uh, units of capacity or units where we're comparing volume. Or we could be thinking about ounces and we could be comparing it with the weight and that would go with pounds and tons. First, let's look at units of capacity. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup. Or two cups equal a pint. That would be 16 fluid, oun 16 fluid ounces equals a pint. Or two pints equal a quart. That would be 32 fluid ounces equal a quart. Or four quarts equal a gallon or 100 and what? 32 times 4, 128 ounces equal a gallon. Or just knowing that, you know, it takes uh, two cups to make a pint and two pints to make a quart and four quarts to make a gallon is all going to be very helpful. And just that general knowledge that a gallon is much larger than a cup. You know, those things really important. Here's another one. This is looking at uh, units in terms of uh, weight. And here we have ounces. They're not fluid ounces, though. So we have 16 ounces make up a pound. Or one ounce is made up of 1 16th of a pound. Let's look at this one right here. This is that stuff that you're going to see on all your teacher certification exams, all on one picture. And I think you just have to use this picture and create a mental map of it and pull out all the information. Like one foot has 12 inches. And one yard is made up of three feet, or 36 inches. Pint is equal to two cups. And a quart is equal to two pints. And a gallon is equal to four quarts. And then we also have ounces and pounds. 
There's 16 ounces in a pound. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.